Now I want to show you another example here that involves inertia. I have here a steel ball that weighs about five pounds. It's supported from above by a thin string. On the bottom of it are two other identical strings. Now what do you suppose would happen if I were to pull down on this string nice and hard so that one of the strings would break? Who thinks this string would break? A few people. Who thinks this string would break? A few more, but a lot of people didn't say anything. So we should do an experiment. I'll pull down on the lower string, and we'll see which string breaks. Well, the lower string broke, as many of you thought. Now, you know in physics and in science in general, we never like to draw a conclusion on a single experiment. We always like to repeat our experiments. So I want to do it again, and that's why I have this other string on. And we'll see if the same thing happens. This time, the upper string broke. Can you see what I did differently in the two cases? What? Very, very good. The first time, I gave it a quick jerk. When I did that, the inertia of the ball was such that it didn't move. And so the upper string didn't know that I had done that. And so the lower string broke. The second time, I pulled very gently. And that time, the tension in the upper string was the downward force I was applying plus the weight of the ball. And so that string was under more tension, and in fact, it broke. 